I'm Garrett Kokel with Monkey Relapse, and I'm here to tell you about the IAC Master Scanner. The Master Scanner here is a new solution for thread calibration. And what I'm going to do today is take you through from turning it on to the actual serting of a thread gauge. So we're going to start over here with the Master Gauge. You put this on and run the scanner through it, and it gives you traceability to NIST. And all it takes is one simple motion to attach it. And it's ready. So looking up here, we're going to go to Master Calibration, Standard, delete the current calibration because we don't really need that, and we do not want to change the probe. Now we're going to run it. I hope you didn't actually sit through that, because that really seems like it takes a long time. The thing is, is this master calibration only needs to happen once before every intermediate calibration, and once the master and intermediate calibrations are in, you don't need to enter them in until you feel it's necessary, or you change your probe. So we're going to change now to doing an intermediate calibration. Now, it may be confusing why we need to master an intermediate calibration. An intermediate calibration is actually used to determine if the probe is on center. Using a known diameter of an intermediate piece, it tells how far off center it is and compensates. So I'll take the click on attachment we're using, just like the master, goes on really easy. Take our intermediate. Put him on real quick. Go back to the menus. Going to intermediate calibration, external. Going to the click on that we have, the center point. We're going to select the standard that we're using, which to us is the 11.19. And now it's running.
Well, that was certainly quicker. That's because with the intermediate calibration, it takes a small sampling right at the edge, which explains why you probably couldn't see the line that it draws out. Because even though it has all this room for data, since it takes such a small sampling, each point's much farther apart. And now we'll move on to an actual gauge. Moving the intermediate, and we'll just randomly select this guy right here. A 1 half 20 UNJF 3B. I'm going to go over here to measurement. Thread plug gauge. And here we have a host of information that we need to enter in. We'll select the standard. ASME. It's a go side. It's a 1 half 3B 20. Almost like I've done this. Enter in the serial number. 6459. To go. Remark. To test. Customer is you. A certain number is we'll do one. And on. Select the same attachment. We will not take the last measurement positions. This time what we're gonna do is figure out how many threads we want to get based upon the length of the thread itself from the end we'll be placing. Quick, simple caliper measurement, 18 millimeters. No. 18 millimeters, and it's in. It prompts me to place the gauge. And run it. Now with all the other measurements that we just ran, the master and the intermediate, those only need to be run once for these gauges here, and as many other gauges as we have around the lab that can be run that are in the range of 11 millimeters.
Now that it's scanned the part, and given us 12,000 measurements per second while it was scanning, you can see a complete profile of the thread, all right here. And as you can see here on this end, you get some junky looking threads. And we probably don't want to put those in because they're at the front, they're worn, this is an actual gauge that's used at a customer shop. So just to make sure we don't fail a gauge based upon the front, we'll bring the measurement line in. We'll cut off a few threads, and hit continue. And as we defined earlier, the master scanner cert actually draws lines where the tolerance boundaries are and puts data points for basic major, minor, basic pitch, pitch, top angle, left angle, and right angle. And as you can see, this gauge passes. But this may not be the kind of cert that you want. Through a couple clicks, you have the option to dump it into an Excel formatted open office cert. There we go. Passes, it's on our cert. Couple keystrokes, cert printed. As you can see, the master scanner makes what used to be a very diff difficult calibration very easy.